Most kids these days are criticized for not being physically active, but there are some that take working out a little too seriously. Whether it's because they're being pushed to extremes by their parents or simply want to become the world's best, here are 10 insanely strong kids who went a little too far. Russian powerlifter Julia Vins became known as Muscle Barbie thanks to the combination of her doll-like face and her huge muscles that remind a bit of the Incredible Hulk. She started going to the gym at the age of 15, where she soon met her coach who saw potential in her as a weightlifter. She started training at the gym with her four times a week for three to five hours and soon started breaking records at the World Powerlifting Congress, squatting 215 kilograms, bench pressing 120 kilograms, and deadlifting 190. Now 21 years old, Julia is still dedicated to her career as a weightlifter, training 7 times a week and never taking a break simply because she loves it so much. Cosmo Taylor from Inverness in Scotland started training informally at the age of 11 and became Britain's youngest competitive bodybuilder at the age of 14, when he competed in his first show the Silver City Classic Bodybuilding in Aberdeen in November 2014. In an interview, the teenager revealed that he had plans to enter many more competitions in the future and has full support of his family since Father Andrew is also a bodybuilder, while his older sister is a prize-winning powerlifter. He added that the siblings push each other to constantly improve their personal bests, but that there are some rivalry going on between them as well. At the age of 7, Yang Jinlong from China already weighed over 110 pounds, twice the average weight of a normal 7-year-old, and was reportedly so strong that he was able to pull cars, carry 200-pound bags of cement, and give piggyback rides to his father. According to his parents, he first showed signs of his incredible strength at 9 months old when he lifted an oil drum weighing 11 pounds. Jin Long impressed everyone around with his incredible strength and unbelievable appetite, and it soon made him somewhat of a celebrity. When reporters came to his home to film him demonstrating his great strength, they asked him how he generates such power, to which the seven-year-old replied with a grin, because I'm fat. Born on September 23, 2001 in Mount Kisco, New York, Naomi Kooten was just eight years old when she started her career as a powerlifter. Just a year later, weighing 88 pounds, the little girl broke the world record for the 97-pound weight class when she squatted 205 pounds, nearly two and a half times her own weight. Since then, Kooten has set numerous records in several weight classes and has inspired so many people that she became the subject of a documentary that premiered in 2016. Titled Supergirl, the documentary follows her unique coming-of-age story, showing her training resume, the strict religious obligations she faces as an Orthodox Jewish preteen, her struggles with chronic migraines, and learning to deal with cyberbullies and high expectations, as well as the challenges that come with trying to establish herself in a field predominantly populated by men. Russian child bodybuilder Andre Moroz became one of the strongest kids in the world at the age of just 13. He is the younger brother of Sergei Moroz who is also a successful bodybuilder. But the fact that Andre was still so young and had a rather small stature made his bodybuilding achievements a lot more impressive. Andre had started lifting weights alongside his brother at an early age and soon became very passionate about bodybuilding. In addition to lifting weights, Andre also did parkour, some gymnastics, and other bodyweight exercises. Although he took a little break from bodybuilding when he turned 13, Andre soon continued to work out and now 16 years old, he is still one of the strongest kids in the world. April Atkins became known as Miss Muscle all the way back in the 1950s, being deemed as the world's strongest 7th grader as she could carry grown men who were two or three times her own weight. At the time, people liked to work out on a beach in California, which therefore became known as Muscle Beach, and 12-year-old April was one of these people. Weighing just 79 pounds, this little girl impressed many of the grown men who had dedicated many years to bodybuilding, as well as onlookers who could hardly believe their eyes when they saw the young girl perform incredible feats of strength. She was able to carry the weight of four adults, the equivalent of 710 pounds, on her back, or hold a man's full body weight above the sand while hanging upside down and swinging from gymnastic rings. 
Since social media was not yet a thing in the 1950s, there is not too much information about April online, but there are a few photos and a video that show her incredible strength and prove that she definitely deserved the title Miss Muscle. At first glance, Liam Hoekstra of Roosevelt Park, Michigan looked like any other three-year-old, but this little guy was nicknamed the world's strongest toddler in 2009 because he was able to pick up two five-pound dumbbells and wave them around like they were his toys. In addition to that, Liam was able to do rapid-fire sit-ups that normal people can only do after hundreds of gym sessions. The first time his parents became aware of his unusual strength was when Liam performed an expert gymnast move called the Iron Cross at the age of just 5 months. By 8 months old, Liam could do a pull-up, and by 9 months, he could climb up and down the stairs, and he soon started taking classes at Cassell Gymnastics and Dance. His unique strength is a result of a rare genetic condition, loosely called myostatin-related hypertrophy, which is exactly what gives him superhero-like strength. In a normal body, myostatin is produced to suppress the growth of muscle, so high levels of it make it hard for the body to build muscle, while low levels allow it to grow. In Liam's case, that means that he has about 40% more muscle mass than the average kid his age, resulting in incredible strength and quickness, a rapid metabolism, and next to no body fat. It might sound like a dream for any aspiring superhero, but children at Liam's age need some body fat to help brain growth, as well as the development of the central nervous system, and since the condition is so rare, there are no studies yet on the long-term effect it has on the body. Varya Kulova from Ukraine was once widely considered the world's strongest girl as she has been performing incredible feats of strength since the age of four. She also started lifting weights that were well beyond what kids are normally capable of lifting at that age. She could lift a combined weight of 330 pounds at the age of five, and in her early teens, she was able to lift four grown adults on her back. The fact that she could carry an entire family on her back at that age quite deservedly earned her the nickname Girl Hercules. She is the daughter of circus performers, which explains why she started training at an early age and as a result became stronger than her strongman father before she even hit her teens. She set a Guinness World Record in 2002 at the age of 10, lifting 220 pounds, around 100 kilograms, while weighing just 40 kilograms herself. Just four years later, she was able to lift over four times her body weight, and although she set her many strength records with relative ease, her father revealed that he only let her show about 75% of her maximum strength for health and safety reasons. At just 11 years old, Richard Sandrak was widely considered the world's strongest boy and was dubbed Little Hercules by the media. He was so ripped from the age of six that many grown men would be jealous and Sandrak was not only a bodybuilder, but also gained fame thanks to his martial arts skills and his appearances on television and in films. However, being the strongest kid in the world obviously comes with a lot of hard work and requires constant dedication, so Sandrak had to spend all of his days training and didn't have any time to go out and play with the others like a normal kid would. He also had to stick to a strict diet that meant that he wasn't allowed to eat any sweets or other unhealthy foods. While he spent most of his childhood in the gym thanks to his father's strict training resume, these days, Sandrak doesn't look as buff as he used to, and now, 27 years old, he says he only does some cardio exercises by doing chin-ups, stair climbing, and riding on his skateboard. He currently works as a stuntman for The Waterworld, an attraction by Universal Studios Hollywood, but dreams of becoming an engineer for NASA one day. Romanian brothers Giuliano and Claudio Stro were just six and four years old when they gained the attention of the media for training to be the world's strongest boys. The tiny muscle men started lifting weights when they were just toddlers and were performing amazing acrobatic feats. Six-year-old Giuliano had already broken several world records and made it into the Guinness Book of World Records at the age of five for doing the fastest 30-foot hand walk with a weight ball between his legs. Around the same time, he also set the world records for the most 90-degree vertical push-ups and for holding onto a pole like a human flag. As you can imagine, becoming the world's strongest boys, or at least being among the strongest kids, takes a lot of dedication as well as training from a young age, and for these two brothers, that meant being put through a grueling two-hour training resume each morning by their father, who is a former gymnast. Today, the brothers are in their early teens and are both working towards becoming boxers. 
they are still training with their dad, who posts videos of their training routines and the like on their respective YouTube channels. Thank you for checking this video out, and don't forget to smash that like button and also subscribe for new videos every day. Turn that bell notification on and comment down below that you subscribed, and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can. Once again, thank you for watching and see you next time.